in a slimy green layer on rocks lying close to the sea. This green layer is algae. These are simple phalloid chlorophyll bearing autotrophic organisms. You can spot algae growing on moist rocks and stones in marine and fresh water and on wood. Algae come in different forms and sizes. For instance, Chlamydomonas is unicellular, whereas Wallvox is of colonial form, and Spirogyra is filamentous. On the other hand, Kelps form massive plant bodies. Algae reproduce through vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. Vegetative reproduction occurs by the process of fragmentation, wherein each fragment develops into a thallus, while asexual reproduction takes place through spores like zoospores. These spores are flagellated and germinate into new plants. During sexual reproduction, two gametes fuse to form a new organism. Based on the size of the gametes, sexual reproduction can be further divided into isogamous, anisogamous, and oogamous reproduction. When the fusion is between two gametes of similar size, the reproduction is called isogamous. The gametes, in this case, can be flagellated, as in Chlamydomonas, or non-flagellated, as in Spirogyra. When fusion takes place between two gametes of dissimilar size, the reproduction is termed as anisogamous. Oogamous is a fusion between a large, non-motile female gamete and a small, motile male gamete. Algae perform a wide variety of functions. They carry out carbon dioxide fixation and also increase the level of dissolved oxygen in their immediate surroundings through photosynthesis. They produce energy-rich compounds that form food for aquatic organisms. Algae are also used for commercial purposes. For instance, agar, obtained from gallidium and gracilaria, is used to prepare ice creams and jellies. Based on the type of pigment and the type of stored food, we can classify algae into chlorophyse, pheophyse, and rhodophyse. Chlamydomonas, Wolvox, and Spirogyra are some members of the class chlorophyse. They are commonly called green algae and can have a unicellular, colonial or filamentous body. Their cell wall is rigid as the outer layer is made of pectose and the inner layer of cellulose. The cell has several chloroplasts that contain pyrenoids, structures that have starch and protein. In definite chloroplasts, you can find the localized pigments chlorophyll A and B that give the algae the color of green grass. Green algae can reproduce vegetatively through fragmentation and asexually by flagellated zoospores as well as sexually. Pheophyse is another class of algae and Ectocarpus, 
Dictyota, Laminaria are some of its members. These species, commonly termed as brown algae, are mostly found in brackish or salt water. They display a wide variety in form and size. For instance, Ectocarpus displays filamentous form, whereas kelps are profusely branched and can measure 100 meters in height. They also vary in color due to the varying concentration of the pigments, xanthophils and fucoxanthin. Apart from these pigments, chlorophyll A, C and carotenoids are the other major pigments found in brown algae. Let's now take a look at the body structure and cellular structure of brown algae. The plant body consists of a frond, a leaf-like photosynthetic organ, and a stipe that functions as a stalk. The frond and stipe are attached to the substratum by a holdfast. The vegetative cells of brown algae have a cellulosic wall, which usually has an outer gelatinous coating of algin. The protoplast inside the cell has plastids and a centrally located vacuole and nucleus. Brown algae produce through fragmentation and asexually through biflagellate spores. On the other hand, in sexual reproduction, the gametes unite either in water or within the oogonium. Rhodophysae is another class of algae whose members include Polysophonia, Gracilaria, and Gallidium. The members are often called red algae. The red color is due to a high concentration of the red pigment R. phycoerythrian. The thalli of red algae are multicellular and food is stored as Floridian starch inside the cells. Red algae are found in brackish and salt water and mostly in warmer areas. Red algae reproduce vegetatively, asexually through non-motile spores and sexually through motile spores. Thus we have seen that there are a variety of algae that thrive in the aquatic habitat.